Corners. Corner is the show where you get all information needed for the V75. And this time, again, we're off to our neighbors in West. It's Norway and Moomarken that are hosting this V75 round. So how are your Norway, how is your Norway knowledge? <laughs> well, it's not all that good, really, uh, especially at Moomarken, which is a very tricky track. Uh, you got a really tight turn there, and a lot of horses tend to go off stride in the first turn. Uh, so I, I, I prefer to bet horses that are used to racing at Moomarken, but uh, it's a very difficult round, this one. But extremely. you can kick off your shoes, or at least the horses can. The horses can take off their shoes in Norway. They don't have a ban for that through the winter, so that's very important. And a couple of Swedish horses are taking their chances to travel to Norway just to do that. Let's see what chances Mike are, is taking this time. Uh, we're starting in the third race, and this marks the start of the V75, which is your opening bet. Well, I feel that despite the post, uh, number eight, my charisma must have a great chance to win this. She is tough. She's determined. She can do a lot of work on the outside, like she did last time when she was uh, in third on the outside, if I recall correctly, went on the attack with 500 meters to go, then was parked, uh, parked on the outside throughout the rest of the trip, and uh, with determination over the final stretch there, took down the leader. Uh, I, I was impressed by that. And um, I think that Erland Rennesvik is going to be the winner in the first leg on the V75. Moving on then to the fifth race. And uh, have you found the winner or are you going to play it a bit safe? I, I'm going to go for a show bet here. I, I think this is a wide open race. It's very difficult to predict, predict how it's going to be run. Uh, number eight, Yassas is a Swedish guest that is traveling to Norway. I don't know if they're doing it to pull the shoes. I'm not, I'm not certain about that. But the horse definitely comes with improving form, much better form than you can tell from the race card. Last time, the horse was way at the back from a very difficult starting position. Uh, was uh, three wide, four wide, and I think even for a bit five wide through the last turn, and still kept a pretty good pace over the final stretch there. So I, I would say that uh, race really showed form, and uh, uh, it's very difficult to compare this the Swedish horse to the Norwegian ones, but uh, with the form the horse showed, I think it's an interesting bet at least. <laughs> it sure is. From race five to race six, and you're back to your winning bet. So who's going to be on top this time? This is going to be a real outsider. We're getting really high odds on this one. Uh, do you remember number three, Flex? Two years ago, the horse was out on the V75, won two V75 races for trainer Robert Berg. Torben Jansen was driving. It was the summertime, and the horse really raced well. Uh, he beat more or less, uh, well, these horses and several of the other best horses. So a really, really promising career a few years ago uh, then the horse got injured moved to other trainers and now back with Natalie Bloom and uh, since they're traveling all the way to Norway for the first race in a couple of years uh, I, I feel quite certain that they must have they must feel the horses in in good shape at least and from an excellent posture if Flex is anywhere close to the capacity he showed a couple of years ago he, he's got a good chance and he's going to be completely overlooked because I don't think the Norwegians know this horse you can suspect that they are positive to the chances regarding Flex. And now let's take a look at another great win, but this is going to be an amazing one in race seven. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to go for number nine. Zant is amazing. Uh, I think this one will also give pretty high odds. Uh, number three will likely be a very clear favorite here with Frode Hamre. But Zant is amazing. Two races ago came in second on the V75. Uh, very good performance that time. I had the horse as a winner that time at very high odds, but got beat there right at the wire, unfortunately. Then last time the horse was first overall through the trip and she doesn't like that at all. Uh, so uh, I, th I think this time it's gonna get a much better trip, get a cover ride here from this uh, second row behind the gate and uh, Santa's Amazing can really fly over the final stretch and we got a long stretch at Moomarken. <laughs> we sure do. Let's take a look at the daily double handed out in races eight and nine. So we need to find the winner in these two consecutive races. And of course, you're just leaning against two horses with the one combination. So which horse has your confidence in this one? In the first leg, I'm going to go for number four, Mr. Lindy. Uh, Veyo Haskinen's horses are really coming into form at the moment, and Mr. Lindy's a very fast horse behind the gate. I think that he's got a good chance to go wire to wire here. Uh, also, one of these horses that travels to Norway to pull the shoes. And then, of course, in the second leg, only one horse. Which one? We've got a long distance race, and number nine, Teddy Boy OK, is an extremely strong horse. Uh, he can do so much work, and from this post here with only seven horses up front, I think Adeline Renderswick will send forward early on, and uh, he's got a great chance. 
So, only one combination for Mike's daily double from Mo Marken. And the Pick 7 V75 is handed out in races 3 through 9. And of course, you, you have your system there. Uh, two bankers at the end of, of the V75 system and one in the start. We talked about those, but what about the second uh, leg of the V75 horses? One, six, and nine. Why these three? Well, just, just looking at how fast the horses tend to race, uh, they do stand out, they seem a lot faster than the rest. They also seem very stable. So if numbers one and six just stay trotting, I, I don't see how the handicapped horses uh, will be able to catch them. Uh, I've also marked number nine though, because that's the best one from the handicap. But uh, the horses up front will be very difficult to catch here. And that makes only 432 combinations for Mike's V75 system from Mo Marken. And that was all we had for you for this time. More information you can, of course, find at our website, SwedishHorseRacing.com. Now, we wish you the best of luck and may you win big.